Hi, my name is Sergey Baranchikov and I'm EDA Solutions Engineer in Keysight. In this video I will tell you how to simulate phased array antenna systems with load pool X parameter power amplifier models. And before I get into the actual software demo, I would like to briefly describe the problems that we're solving here. Phased array antennas have been used in military for many years, and what's happening now it is a transition into the commercial world of wireless and satellite markets. Semiconductor technology innovations and increasing demand for services in different markets make this technology worth investing. Emitting energy in a specific direction increases range and reduces interference susceptibility, at the same time improving security. Sophisticated dynamic beamforming algorithms and MIMA technology offers improved coverage, flexibility and provides multiple concurrent services. One of the biggest challenges in phased array system design is the amount of disciplines involved. Antenna radiating element design, RF and microwave circuit design, algorithm design, test and measurement science and many other aspects. Often engineers from different teams struggle to communicate and exchange design and simulation results, making their work less efficient. What can possibly go wrong with such a multidiscipline project? I'm not gonna go through all the details and here's the short list of different effects that might degrade the quality of a phased array antenna gain diagram, also known as BIM. One of the biggest concerns is the amplitude and phase distortion due to nonlinear nature of power amplifiers in the transmitting chain, as well as so-called active loading or active impedance effect which means that different elements in the array talk to each other and some amount of energy from neighbor channels is reflected back to the amplification circuit, changing the impedance it observes and corresponding power amplifier operating condition. Comprehensive beam steering techniques and multi-user shared or subarray modes of operation make the task of predicting the actual impact on performance even more challenging. Keysight System Design, also known as System View, is an ideal cross-domain design integration in simulation platform that eases phased array system development workflow at the system architecture level. System View provides a decent set of simulation and evaluation tools. Frequency Domain Spectrosys Simulator for RF microwave system level design and analysis and Data Flow Time Domain Simulation Engine for RF systems and DSP algorithm co-design. It relies on the accurate Keysight Advanced Circuit Simulation and Measurement signs. Precisely extracted behavioral nonlinear models of RF and microwave circuits like power amplifiers is the cornerstone of a successful system-level simulation result. Fortunately, Keysight provides a state-of-the-art component analysis instruments like vector network analyzers, and circuit-level simulation science in our advanced design system flagship software platform. Both real and virtual tools provide the capability to extract linear and non-linear behavioral models in the form of S parameters and X parameters, respectively. Keysight recently introduced a new part in the Dataflow system view library called XParam. The XPRAM model is used to support phased array system simulation by inclusion of nonlinear component models and the dynamic impedance change effect caused by multi channel coupling. It combines two major things a power amplifier X parameter behavioral model with an encapsulated load pool data and an antenna coupling matrix in the form of a linear S parameter model for inter channel mutual coupling effects. X parameters are the proven robust technology to capture device nonlinearities. It is intended to contain information about harmonic distortion and could also include multidimensional data, such as fundamental frequency and power level sweeps, source and load pool data, different test temperature points, several bias points, and much more. Load pool data is a crucial element in such a behavioral model because each power amplifier in every channel sees a different antenna impedance depending on the steering angle. So, long story short, the X param part pulls out the correct behavior of the power amplifier model according to the stimulus and the loading condition being deployed in a phased array system. 
and it's true for as many channels in the system as you'd like to model. Now let's take a closer look to the workspace examples. That's the ADS schematic test bench that I used for the load pool X parameter model extraction. The design being extracted contains a simple transistor level power amplifier model. Extraction was done for a single fundamental frequency and up to third harmonic. The load reflection coefficient was swept in a broad range. On the right side you can see the result of harmonic balance simulation with the extracted model. Here's the graphs with the fundamental and harmonics output power level versus input signal power level, as well as a load pool simulation results. Gain and gain compression curves on a Smith chart. The advantage of using such models in system level simulation is that you can provide an accurate nonlinear model to third parties and protect your IP. Here's how the system view test bench looks like. Let's see what we have here. I've chosen a simple QAM16 modulated signal source for this example. It generates IQ samples first and then it's converted to a complex envelope system view data type signal, which means that I and Q waveforms modulate 1 GHz carrier. The second important group of parts was added for beamforming. I placed two constant number sources in front of the beamformer part to control the beam steering angle. The beamformer part generates two sets of weight complex coefficients with corresponding amplitude and phase for each of the two array users. The output is the matrix of 64 signals with proper amplitude and phase distribution across the channels. And the main part of the study is the load pool X parameters model. It reads the matrix of 64 complex envelope signals processes it according to the extracted power amplifier model behavior as it was described early in this presentation. And at the end of the schematic we have several parts that collect signal samples, perform measurements and visualize the antenna array gain plot. This is how the result of the simulation looks like. At the right hand there is a spectrum before and after the X parameter model. We clearly can see the effect of the amplification and nonlinear behavior of the amplifier. There's the spectral regrowth at the sidebands. In the central plot, we can see the antenna gain diagram. There are two cases. The red curve represents the antenna beam without active loading effect, and the blue one is for the simulation result with antenna coupling matrix option activated. Side lobes have a bit different shape, especially in the diagram zeros area. There are numerous evaluations could be done to this design. Here's an example of a parametric sweep. A beam steering theta angle was swept from 0 to 45 degrees and we can observe the effect. The diagram is changing quite significantly. The main lobe becomes wider and side lobes distribution changes. In system view we can implement different scenarios like shared array multiple users deployment. In this particular test bench I added a second user which steers the beam in a different direction than the first one. Theta angles are 0 and 30 degrees respectively. So the load pool experimenter model and system view in general support as many concurrent beam simulations as needed. Thanks for watching the video, I hope it was useful for you. Like the video, follow the channel and stay tuned.